Hello friends, this is a small video to show you how to transmit audio signals wirelessly by using IR LEDs. And this is a schematic here. And first, before going to make the circuit, I want to explain the circuit briefly. You can see this is a transistor. For this transistor, we are connecting an audio signal to the base. Actually, transistors are uh, variable resistors, but they are controlled by uh, the voltage input given to the base. If you consider this is a, this as a resistor, as the voltage given in the base varies, the resistance varies. That means, if the voltage in the base increases, automatically the resistance of the BJT decreases. As we know, all audio signals are uh, AC signals. That means their amplitude varies continuously. As the amplitude increases, then automatically this uh, the resistance will be reduced and the flow of current will be more uh, sorry there will be no voltage drop here then th there will be a possibility to flow of current as the current flows these leds gets on uh, as the we know as the voltage difference increases then the brightness also increases for an led and vice versa so as the audio signal amplitude changes, the brightness of the IR LEDs also changes. Here we are using IRS as carrier and its intensity and uh, its uh, light intensity as message. So as the audio signal varies, the brightness of IR LEDs also changes and this is sensed by a photodiode. Actually, when light falls on these photodiodes, automatically the resistance will reduce. Exactly like LDR, but this will be sensible by IR rays. That means when whenever the light rays are fall on this photodiode, automatically resistance of this uh, photodiode changes. That means it reduces. As the uh, photodiode resistance reduces, there will be more uh, more flow of current. Uh, then automatically this BJT resistance changes. Uh, this BJT resistance will change according to the intensity, light intensity. That means here it will again create the audio signal at this point which is given out uh, by a speaker. Hope you guys understood, understood my explanation. And let's see what are the components required for this thing. As we know, most important thing is photodiode. And the next, this is the transistor I am using. This is SL100. Okay, yeah. Here you can see the small notation for emitter, base, and this is the collector. This is a speaker. Uh, variable resistance or uh, some pot of 10k and power supply. The main thing, uh, this is the IR LED, uh, which transmits our message signal. You can see uh, for comparison, this is a photodiode and this is IR LED. And the main thing, uh, we have to give our audio signal to our circuit. I am using 3.5 mm audio jack to give uh, the power supply, uh, the audio signal to my circuit and this is the positive you can simply consider this is a positive and this is a negative and the solder have soldered two wires to it and that's uh, the uh, final thing is a breadboard so friends now let's start making the circuit now first i'm going to make the transmitter part here it is and let's start with transistor so first i'm taking the transistor see you can see this is the emitter here this emitter so i'm placing it okay see this is the emitter and uh, this will be the base and this is the collector now to the collector i have to connect uh, this ir leds so i'm placing the ir leds Here. check the polarities while placing both should be connected in series okay. now I have placed 
the both IR LEDs and now we have to connect the base to uh, audio signal I have shown you the 3.5 mm audio jack now I am connecting that see according to my connection this black wire will be the positive power supply so I am connecting this thing to the base and the other negative terminal to the emitter you can see here emitter is connected to negative and positive is connected to base and now finally power supply just take this clip and positive is going to the LED negative to the base done and positive to LED that's it we are done with our transmitter let's check our transmitter is working or not you can see I have connected to the power supply and now I am connecting the audio jack to my laptop uh, you can see you can see the LEDs are on uh, if you remove this audio jack they are off that means our circuit is working uh, actually I am running a song in my laptop this thing will be transmitted by these LEDs ok next, next now we'll, we are going to make the receiver part now I am with another new breadboard and I am making the receiver part first I am placing the transistor yeah I have placed the transistor here this is the transmitter uh, this is a emitter here I have connected the emitter and okay. this is the emitter and this is the base and this is the collector okay now we are connecting the speaker the speaker will be connected to collector so I am connecting the speaker to collector you can see I have connected one terminal to uh, collector and the other terminal we have to connect to the power supply let's connect here and give the power supply ok now I connected the speaker and next we are going to connect our photodiode ok From now I am placing the photodiode you can see photodiode place it on the breadboard you can see this is the cathode I will show you. this is the cathode uh, on right side and the left side is anode ok now connect the cathode to base and now take a take the pot 10k pot and I am connecting this thing uh, the center lead to the anode of our uh, photodiode center lead is connected to the anode of our photodiode and now one thing to the power supply which we have to be we have to connect and the other thing will be connected to ground yeah see you can see I am connecting this thing to the emitter actually the emitter will be connected to ground that's why I am connecting it to the emitter ok we have placed the pot and the final thing is connection of power supply friends this is the receiver circuit and uh, you can see I have connected this power supply and done now we are done with receiver and this is the transmitter um, now let's check whether this thing is working or not you can see I have connected my uh, audio jack to this and given power supply and this is the receiver part the speaker and now let's check it friends you can see I am playing the song in my laptop and this is the transmitter we have made I have placed an extra, extra 
infrared LED to increase the range and now here is our receiver and let's listen to the music I am playing Manchali song in my laptop I think you people can hear the song I will place the microphone here to it and there is the transmitter and here is our receiver if you vary the variable register you will get a more proper audio You can see it's around 1 meter, 1 and a half meter distance and our song is properly audible. Thanks for watching guys.